Hi everyone, I'm uh, Stephen from Not Just Cables. This year I've decided to do a few tutorials um, on setting up various hardware and, and so on. Um, this first one just being a quick demo on, on one of those tutorials which is um, OpenELEC XBMC um, which is basically just a cut down operating system running XBMC which is Xbox Media Center. Um, in this version it's actually booting over the network so um, there's some advantages of doing that, uh, one being that the PC itself that's running the media center doesn't necessarily need to have a hard drive in it, but in my case I do actually have a hard drive because I also boot from Windows 7, um, so I use this PC for other things as well. Um, by the default there's a 20 second timeout which is also explained in my tutorial how to set up all this. You can have images in the background and, and everything else if you want to. In my case, I've just left it pretty, pretty plain. Um, XBMC just at the top, and then a menu. Um, you can also have more options in here if you wanted to. If you had applications you wanted to run, something specific like memory test or any number of um, network bootable sort of applications or CD bootable applications that you can boot over network. And um, there's various ways to to actually do that. Um, I won't really go into those in my tutorial unless someone wants some more info on how to do that. Um, but in this case, I'll just continue on booting. As you can see, it just goes into loading the kernel, the operating system, and then eventually it'll boot into XBMC. Um, that's open now, like just the default logo showing there now. Um, this is actually all booting from a FreeNAS server, which is also freely available um, open source type NAS server. I don't know, some people may be familiar with that. Um, there's other ways to do it, you don't necessarily need to use FreeNAS. In my um, description, my, my guide that I've set up online, I've actually used FreeNAS to do everything. So it actually hosts the network booting files, um, which is coming from a, a TFTP server, and also uh, NFS Linux based network shares. Um, yeah, so that's basically booted up. Anyone that's familiar with XBMC would also know about the applications and so on that are available for download on the um, App Store and so on. For In my case I'm just using an iPhone for the remote. You could use a um, any number of the Apple devices. In this case I've connected, I'm just going to go to the remote control version. Um, you can set it up so you can browse your movies and play trailers and everything on the remote as well. Um, in this case I'll just flick through the weather quickly. You can see that it's um, just showing our local weather. Go back to the home screen and go into the music. Um, it just takes a little bit to load them up. So you can just play a song. So there you go. It's just playing that. And there you have it. And also just go into movies. So got all my movies and everything loaded onto it already, obviously. And it's just uh, playing a movie. So we go back to start, go to the home screen, and that's pretty much it. So if you'd like more information on how to set that up, I've got a link in the description. It's just to my website, not just cables.co.nz. And it's the blog section, which is the link at the top of my website for the um, blog that I've just started writing. So that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.